Okay, so I have a network here, and what I want to do is to demonstrate a network without quality of service and a network with a quality of service technique called differentiated services. So on the left side of my network here, I have a bursty traffic generator. I have a background LAN that's just generating some background traffic on my very basic network. I have a video caller to use up some bandwidth, and I also have a voice caller, and I want to enable quality of service for my voice caller here. On the right hand side I have my video called and my voice called uh, workstations and I also have my background server. Now the application I'm using for voice happens to be the, the highest possible quality PCM encoded quality speech. So after having run this I can see my results and because of the enormous amount of traffic on my network, because of the very bursty nature of the traffic on my network, I can see that I have quite high peaks for the end-to-end -end delay for my voice application. So what I'd like to do is to actually enable a quality of service technique called differentiated services, which will cause my voice packets to be treated differently in both of my routers here. So in order to do that, I'm going to duplicate this scenario, and I'm going to duplicate it and call it diffserv. I've now duplicated it, and what I need to do is enable quality of service across all of the links that are involved in this communication. So it will be this link here from the voice caller to my first router, between the two routers, and then from my second router to my voice call. Note this isn't a particularly realistic network, but at least it proves the, uh, the point of, of uh, a quality of service technique, differentiated services. I'm going to enable IP quality of service. I'm going to go into configure quality of service, and I'll do this. I need to use a, a, a queuing system which will give me the ability to differentiate between the applications that are being used. Weighted fair queuing will allow me to do that. And I have a quality of service profile. I'm going to use differentiated services code point based. So when I click OK, these links change color, and that means that differentiated services has now been set up here. And I also have a new node, IP quality of service definition, being added to my network domain. If I have a look at that, I, have, I can view my weighted fair queuing profiles. Of course, I just set up DSCP based. And we can see here that the queue configuration, my, my lowest quality is assigned to assured forwarding 11, 12, 13. And then as we go up in quality, um, 21, 22, and 23 uh, assured forwarding classes. And we can see this is assigned a weight, uh, a, 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 this particular group is assigned a weight of 10. The group before was assigned a weight of 5. And we go down until um, expedited forwarding, which I'm going to apply to, to voice. And that is assigned a, a weight of 55, um, meaning that it is serviced much more often than, for example, anything that I set at a assured forwarded class at 11, 12, or 13. So I then need to set my application so that the type of service associated with my voice traffic is going to be expedited forwarding. So I'll set that up now. My differentiated services code point, I'll set that up to being expedited forwarding. I'll click OK and then have the whole of that set up and I can now start a simulation. This will take a long time because I have a rather large amount of traffic on my network. Um, so we just have to wait for that to simulate for as long as I, I think we need to show the, the point on the network. So what I've done is I've set up the queuing profiles on uh, the interfaces that connect my route from my voice caller to my voice called. And I've set up those queuing profiles so that they differentiate between the types of traffic and they give more service to my voice traffic. So I'll stop that now. I'll have a quick look at that. And what we can see is, whereas before my voice traffic was all over the place, I now have a fairly constant line. I can show all of my scenarios here. I'll overlay them. And you can see there is a considerable difference between my, my blue dots, my no quality of service, and between the red dots that show my differentiated services. So by playing around with the, the classes that you associate with particular um, types of traffic, by playing around with the weights you associate with different types of traffic, um, you can explore uh, the, the gains, the quality gains you can get from a differentiated services technique.